Unloved is basically a horror FPS based on the popular Doom 2 community mod with the same name. The game was made in Unreal Engine 4 and allows players to work either alone or together, navigating their way through maze-like levels in order to fill up seven blood machines to power an elevator and escape and complete the level. The game came to Steam on the 29th of September and was made by one person, the creator of the original Doom 2 mod. So let's jump in and see if this is a game you should pick up. So this is Unloved, we're going to be playing the game on max graphics with the field of view set to 110. You can create a character here, although there's not a whole lot of customization. Apparently you can buy new colours. You can also have different titles in this game, but currently I can only have The Fool. So let's just jump into a game. You have local co-op through a LAN connection. You can also find games over the internet, or you can just start a new game by yourself. There's many different types of difficulty. Silver of Mercy, which is the easiest. No Hope, which is the second easiest. Then Kill Em All. Time to Die. Beast Mode and unearthly for players above level 100. So there's obviously some form of progression system where as you get better at the game, you gain levels and you're more strong, I'm going to assume. You get to choose different levels. So far there's only four apartments, clinic, basement and town. You can also choose the arena size, small, medium, large and huge. And there's four different game types, ultra-violent, arcade style, classic horror and hot mode. Ultra-violent is the default game mode, arcade style items pick up instantly, there's a lot more items and monsters and it's a much more fast paced game type. Classic horror, the monster amount and items are reduced, areas are much larger, monsters are stronger and the player moves slower. And there's also hot mode, time only moves when you move, enemies deal a ton of damage and it's single player only. So I guess this game mode is based off the game Super Hot, which I really enjoyed. Let's start with the default game mode and we're going to play the daily seed, apparently every day there's a random layout. So this is unloved, it's very dark, I'm going to see if I can up the brightness just for video purposes. The game has very standard FPS controls. You can use shift to sprint. Control is crouch. Left clicks obviously shoot. Holding down right click puts the pistol in fully automatic mode. And V is of course melee. So let's open a door. I'm already spooked. Oh, I can, oh, I can hear something spooky, hello. Oh, oh, it's spooky. The last thing I want is something just creeping up behind me and getting me off by surprise. Nail gun. The game is very dark indeed. Oh, hello. What is that? Oh, hello. This thing's coming in hot. I have to say the sound effects in this game are quite creepy. There's an upside down chair, right. Hello? Hello? Fucking hell, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. That just popped out of nowhere. It was a bad idea to play this game, I thought. Oh, it's just an F- Oh! It's just an FPS, it's not gonna be scary. But now I've just remembered how poorly I react to anything even remotely scary. And this was probably a bad idea. Oh, fuck off. Oh, that one's gone through the wall. What's this? A blood crest. Coming in from over here, we got a fat one. Nice. Oh, no, I don't like you. The uh, gunplay sounds very impactful. No real complaints when it comes to the firing of the weapons. Very Doom-like, which is to be expected as this game was based on a Doom 2 mod. All right, apparently we can open this door now. There we go. In terms of level design, it's very maze-like. A moon crest, apparently I need it. There we go, oh, there's a moon crest door over here. Let's just go in here. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm spooked. I'm spooked, and I am frightened. I can certainly say that this game's immersive. I don't think there's much denying that. Fans of Doom are gonna fucking love this game, I can tell you that much. The doors and try and open them. I don't like you. Oh my god, he just rushed me. That was fucking spooky. Running, running, running. Don't like you. Run it. I'm out of ammo for this one. Oh, okay. The game is picking up in pace. It's throwing a lot more demons at me. I feel like I'd be more comfortable playing this game on multiplayer mode because right now I'm just spooked. Not go it's, it's not. It's not going too well for me. I'm getting my ass kicked. 
out of nowhere, the monsters seem to have all mounted up. And that didn't go too well for me. That was a very immersive and spooky experience. We've joined a game with this bloke. He's got a friend over here. So this game allows for up to four player co-op. I think that's where you're probably going to get the most fun out of the game. Because these kind of games are always the most fun with friends. Fantastic, we've got ourselves a rail gun. Right, lock and load, bitch. Nice. It seems like after a certain point, everything just spawns and just fucks you up. It goes from 0 to 100 very, very quickly, this game. Visually, is it the best looking game? Not really. A lot of the textures are relatively low, but... In terms of gameplay, it's a decent amount of fun. I'm almost dead. I'm not very good at this game. Um, I need to learn how to play this game. I think there's no real tutorial that explains anything, really. Oh god, it's not going very well for any of us. There's monsters everywhere. There's monsters everywhere. I'm spooked and I'm almost dead. Oh my god, this is a cluster of fucks right now. I am so incredibly confused. Get back into the elevator. Going to the elevator. Oh, here's the elevator. Right. So we're all in the elevator. Now what? Right, we completed it, apparently. We're gonna try hot mode, so time only moves when I move. Right, okay, so time's moving very slowly, because I'm basically on super hot mode. Clowns! Clowns can fuck off. This is a really cool mode. Oh my god! I think I definitely prefer arcade mode, it's a lot simpler. And it tells you where monsters are spawning, so it's not... Quite as overwhelming. I'm quite a casual when it comes to these kind of games. So I just prefer simplicity. Um, I'm taking like dot damage from somewhere. I don't I don't quite understand. Hello? I think this is a boss or something. I've come too far to lose this game at this point. I am not fucking around. There are so many demons on their way to me right now. Oh, well, we've act we, we activated the blood machine. So we've found the blood machine. There appears to be multiple blood machines. At the side, it's given me an objective. I needed to kill three servants and three doctors. I've done that. I just need to go fill up two more blood machines. It's time to do the deed. One, two. Get back to the elevator. Now we run. Now we run, now we run, now we run, run, run. I see how the pl I see how this game works now. Right, we're at the elevator. Activate. And we did it. We actually did it. Okay, so that's a decent amount of fun. The game makes complete sense to me now. Right, so let me explain to you how this game works. Because it took me quite a while to figure it out. So, you basically go through a labyrinth of rooms. And you need to find... What is that? That is spooky. And you need to find a room with blood machines in it. Until you find that room, there's not really much you can do. So, you need to slowly work your way through different rooms. The further you get and the closer you get to the Blood Machines room, the more monsters will spawn. Once you've found the room with the Blood Machines, you need to fill up seven Blood Machines and it takes away health from your character, so you need to be careful of that. Monsters just spawn like crazy. You kill a certain amount of monsters, you fill up the blood machines, you run to the elevator, you escape, you've beat the level. However, some doors in this game can only be opened once you've got a special key. Like, there's a moon crescent key, there's a sun-shaped key, there's a blood key. Something I have yet to figure out with this game, though, is do monsters spawn based on your progress or based on time? I can't quite figure that out yet. It seems to be progress based. But now I can finally see how the game works. I can actually appreciate it. It's a decent amount of fun. It's simple in concept really, but it's a good amount of challenge. And it's a game that I feel as though Doom fans will absolutely adore. So after playing Unloved for a few hours, I'm now going to give you my early thoughts on the game so far. When it comes to visuals, it's certainly not the best looking game out there, despite being made in Unreal Engine 4. There's a lot of low res textures which do make it look incredibly dated. It doesn't look anywhere near as good as something like Killing Floor, for example. And I'm pretty sure that Unloved actually looks a lot better in its trailer than it does in the actual game. 
so I don't really know what's going on there. But visually, the only thing that makes this game look half decent is the lighting that you get with Unreal Engine 4. It's very dark, atmospheric, and creepy. But you can certainly tell that this was a game made by one person due to the amount of assets used and the overall presentation of the game. When it comes to the gameplay, I found Unloved to be very fun, fast-paced, and challenging. The gunplay feels both impactful and Doom-like, and it's quite engaging to have to navigate what is essentially a giant-ass maze whilst hordes of demons are spawning, getting progressively harder. That being said, I feel like the game still needs a lot more polishing. The game feels extremely buggy when you collide with another player. The screen just kind of flickers and it just doesn't really feel finished. The game definitely feels like it's lacking a tutorial. It took me a long ass time to actually figure out how to play the game. For the first 40 minutes or so, I was just running around absolutely clueless. Obviously, not all of us have had the chance to play the Doom 2 mod version of this game, so a tutorial would be nice. But overall, would I recommend paying £10.99 for Unloved? Um, no, fuck that. The game was made by one person. For what it is, it's a really good game, and I would recommend picking it up on sale if it sounds like your kind of thing, but don't pay full price for it. The game's just lacking the overall polish that you would expect from a game of that price. If the game's on sale for about half of that though, then sure, maybe it's worth picking up then. So that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. For those of you that are new to the channel, my goal on YouTube is basically to help you discover quality new games and avoid the bad ones whilst not wasting too much of your time in the process. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then do consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. You take it easy and I'll see you again in the next one. Teleport, dude, teleport. Teleport. I think I've escaped. Just about. Stalk this, but got him, got him, got him. Right, now the game's getting interesting.